Hello everyone, I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on how to use Tiny PDF on your iPad to annotate PDFs. The way that you're going to do this is you start the app called Tiny PDF. You can see the icon on the lower right hand corner of my iPad screen. I'm going to go ahead and launch the app. And because this is the first time I'm doing this for you to show you how to do it, you're going to have to log into your Google Drive using your school credentials. This way you'll be able to have access to the shared folder of all the assessments that are ready for you to go. So I'm going to touch on Google Drive and I'm going to go ahead and sign in with my school email address. And then you're going to put your password in. And of course, you're going to hit allow in order for this app to work. Now, once you do this one time, you don't have to do it again. It'll remember you the next time. So once you're signed into your school school Google account, you'll have access to these folders. Now you're seeing my folders that I have. And the folder that I'm looking for says F&P assessment forms. These were already uploaded and ready for you to go. So I'm going to tap on that. I'm going to go ahead and just go into system one. And for purposes today, I'm going to go ahead and choose the one that is called At the Park. Once I do that, I can see that the document is now on my home screen. Before I ever want to start to write on or annotate this PDF, I want to make a copy of it. So I'm going to go to the Edit button in the upper right hand corner and touch that and select my PDF that I want to make a copy of. I touch the PDF and down below you can see that my tools have become live and I'm going to hit copy and copy that. And now you can see that my copy is the exact same name except it has dash one at the end of it. It's the second PDF that you see on the screen. I'm going to hit edit again because I want to rename that. Before I, again, before I start editing on the PDF, I want to rename it. And a good policy to follow is just to go ahead and put the name that you have of the document and then add the student's name. So I'm going to hit edit again, touch the one that I want to rename, and touch rename down at the bottom. And I'm just going to back up there and keep level A at the park, and I'm going to put the name of our student in. And touch done. Now at this point, since I've made the copy of the PDF and I'm ready to start marking on it, I can touch that PDF and it launches it. I can see I have three pages and I can scroll between the pages. When I'm ready to start marking on the PDF, I'm going to hit the edit tools, which is the square with the pencil in it in the upper right hand corner. As soon as I do that, you see my editing tools pop on the screen. I have my pen color that I can choose here. Defaults to red. We can make it black and then we can also change the size of the pen from small to large. We can change the pen to an eraser if we want to. We can put a text box in if we want to. We can also add in um, circles and lines and squares if we want to. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go back to my pen color, make sure that my pen is attached, small one, and I can go ahead and just using my pen, I can mark up the way that I want to mark up this PDF. Using two fingers, I can zoom in if I want to zoom into a certain area, and then I can get some detailed writing, writing as well. And zoom back out with those two fingers. When I'm done editing, I can tap the X in the upper left hand corner. And then if I want to get more tools again, I'm just going to tap anywhere on the screen and notice that those tools popped up again. I can get to my user guide and it shows the name of the document at the top where it says um, Susie Student. The try dot in the upper right hand corner allows you to mail the PDF if you want to. And if you don't want to do that, you can press the home button and then start another one. If you ever have any questions on this, please contact Tricia Lewis and she will help you out. Thank you. Have a good day.